Hey Power Scalers, today we're going to go over what is a multiversal level threat character. Because I'm, I'm getting a lot of these comments on, on, my, on one of my videos, you know, regarding the versus battle wiki, talking about multiversal tiers and different tiers. I have a lot of amateur Power Scalers and a lot of people commenting or not understanding or recognizing what a multi virtual level character is so today i'm going to explain what is a multiversal level character what is the difference between a multiversal level attack potency and a multiversal level tiered character and how to recognize a multiversal level tiered character now I want to highlight on this comment that's in the on my YouTube page because this guy has been sending me multiple comments, all in the defense of his great Goku. Um, and this person has no idea what is multiversal. He has no idea what is a multiversal threat character, and he has no idea how to tier. But again, that is what my channel is for. We're here to analyze characters and tier them properly. I want to first talk about one thing, and that is a multiversal level character does not need a multiversal attack potency to be in the multiversal level tier threat. Let me repeat that. A multiversal level character does not need a multiversal level attack potency to be in the multiversal level tier level threat category now what do I mean by this first we can easily prove this to be true through an analysis of these four characters people that believe you need a multiversal level attack potency you are not tearing characters properly so let's start with number one the first character that I want to talk about that is multiversal but does not have a multiversal level attack potency would be Lockjaw. Lockjaw is a character that can teleport between dimensions in the Marvel verse at will. And actually it has been proven that there is not any dimension as of yet, as of yet, that Lockjaw cannot access. Of course he's able to travel from one location to the next within any dimension, but he can also cross dimensions and timelines at will. Now, a lot of you are asking, who is Lockjaw? I'm sure some of you have seen Lockjaw. You just don't know who he is. He's the little bulldog with the thing from the Inhumans on his head. And you have to understand that Lockjaw does not have a multiversal attack potency. But because of Lockjaw's teleporting abilities that allow him to teleport to different dimensions and different timelines, different verses different universes lockjaw is a multiversal level character without a multiversal level attack potency for those who disagree with me it's already stated in the marvel canon verse so you can sit up here and say that i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about but marvel has already deemed lockjaw as a multiversal level character <coughs> maybe his attack potency is not there but he is a multiversal level character <coughs> A next case analysis would be the Mobius chair Batman. Now, there have been a lot of heroes who have utilized the Mobius chair, but I'm going to utilize Batman because out of all the heroes who have utilized the Mobius chair, as far as attack potency, Batman would be the weakest. So, you know, before you guys criticize what I'm saying, you need to understand what the Mobius chair allows for whoever is utilizing its power. The Mobius chair allows for whoever is utilizing its power to tra travel through time and, and, and space, to travel through time and space in light speed. The Mobius chair can travel to any dimension, any verse, any earth any time even before humanity 
It has no limits. You have to, uh, those of you who read the Marvel comics, you guys know Mobius Chair Batman is a multiversal level tiered threat. This form of Batman does not have a multiversal level attack potency. The Mobius Chair does not have an attack potency that is multiversal. The Mobius Chair probably doesn't even have an attack potency that is planetary. At best, maybe planetary. Because I did, I did uh, read a couple of things where the Mobius Chair has some effect on the planet. Even so, Batman does not have a multiversal level attack potency. But due to the, mo the abilities of the Mobius Chair giving him omniscient abilities such as all knowledge, giving him time travel, giving him teleportation at light speed, he is a multiversal level being. Batman in the Mobius Chair currently right now. Only an amateur power scaler cannot see that Batman in the Mobius chair is a multiversal level threat within the Marvel Universe, but does not have a multiversal level attack potency. My next example would be from manga and anime, because I do them both. I believe they are, you know, not one and the same, but you can merge them. <coughs> And, and by merge them, I mean you can have different characters fight different characters from other verses. <coughs> as long as, again, as long as you maintain the rules of the verse that the character is from, because you still have to give ode to the writer, then you're fine. My next example is the Soul King from Bleach. <coughs> what a lot of amateur power scalers don't understand and have said this time and time again. That you can have a character that is multiversal, but does not have a multiversal attack potency. For those who are wondering, you know, again, what is your definition? What is my definition? What is a multiversal character? A multiversal character is one who exists and or affects multiple universes within whatever verse they are created from. Or dimensions affect multiple universes or dimensions anyone that understands the bleach manga understands that the soul king is the linchpin to the human world the soul society dangai and the human world these are four different dimensions four different worlds to say the soul king does not have an effect on each of these dimensions or worlds I just stated is an understatement Kisiki Urahara stated, without the Soul King, Soul Society will fall apart. The King is the cornerstone. Without the cornerstone, the entire structure would crumble. A character, the power scaling criteria for all tiers, you know, uh, for multiverse characters. And, I, and I've stated this before. And the Soul King it fits in these criteria. You know, he fits in these modes. There's three ways to be multiversal and you need two of these ways number one you have to display feats of destroying or affecting multiple dimensions world or universes within your canonized verse number two you have to display feats or proof of power that allows for the affecting of two or more dimensions worlds or versus not destroying them just affecting them now number three you started within you started within the canon canonized version of the fiction as a multiversal entity or character so the writer has deemed you a multiversal level character or a multiversal level threat if you don't have two of these three criteria, there is no way your character can be multiversal. For those power scalers who are not distinguishing between attack potency and the actual tier that the character is in, is even more lost than the versus battle wiki. At least the versus battle wiki understands that these two things are separate. Attack potency and what you're actually tearing them are separate. A character has and can be multiversal without having a multiversal attack potency. Which brings me. 
and this brings me into my next point. The, my problem with the versus battle wiki is the bias that is entailed when they're analyzing characters. Goku especially. When you look at Goku, a lot of people are going to make this make him multiversal. They're going to put him in a multiversal tier. Strictly because and they're going to always reference this particular fight, the Beerus and Goku fight. What people don't realize is to call yourself multiversal, it needs to be only from that character and that character only can display that feat. You know, Goku challenged a universe buster at best on a bullish outlook. You could tear Beerus probably low universal, very high universal. But in within the manga of DBZ, he's already been named a universe buster. So at the time, they had already talked about Beerus and Champa fighting and how them two fighting could destroy both of their universes. That proves that Beerus is not a multiversal character, but a universal character. He is someone who can destroy a universe. He cannot destroy two universes. It takes another universal character to clash with him for two universes to be destroyed. Hence why Goku is not multiversal and is only a universal threat. <coughs> Goku on a bullish outlook can easily be tiered to a high planetary or universal threat. Now, the reason I talk about bullish and bearish is because just like the stock market, stock, yeah, just like the stock market, us as power scalers, we do have certain different opinions, especially on a character when it comes to the tiers. It does not mean that character is going to win, but there's always a bearish and a bullish outlook. Of course, you still have to explain what, why you're going with whether he's multiversal, whether he's high planetary. A bullish outlook would be that he's multiversal based on that feat for Beerus. That's a reach. You know, you still have no canonized backing and you're reaching. A bearish outlook would be, hey, you know, I've only seen Goku affect a universe. He's only a universal threat. He should probably only be tiered at universal with a high planetary attack potency and maybe a universal attack potency, but he has not shown to be multiversal. And either one of these two can be can be looked at, can be analyzed. And, 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 and I don't wanna say that the multiversal is right and I don't wanna say the universal is right, even though the universal has more canonized backing. It has more evidence, it has more analysis backing it while the multiversal you are reaching no matter who no matter who you are you're reaching if you're saying goku is multiversal based upon the feats that have been shown within the D dragon ball super manga and the dragon ball z manga when you're talking about bears and bulls you have to just remember this it is okay to tear someone at a certain tier list but do not believe just because you tier them at multiversal, that means that they can beat any character under that. Any character that's universal, any character that's high planetary, because that's not the case. That is not the case. And please hit that subscribe and like button, guys. And this is Angry Weeb, and I'm out.